Hi, I'm here to talk about Rainbow Puppy from Blue's Clues, particularly Blue's Clues and You, because she isn't a character from the original Blue's Clues series, or from Blue's Room, or from Blue's Big Musical Movie. Rainbow Puppy was introduced in Blue's Clues and You, and was introduced later on, so it took a while to get to her. But the cool thing about Blue's Clues is that even though it does follow a, a familiar format, it's a great format, there's a lot of enjoyable characters to have around, but there are also some changes, including some new characters that get introduced later on, and Rainbow Poppy is one of those new characters. So it turned out that uh, Plum, from the original series, uh, he's not really uh, there in Blue's Clues and You, because his role has been replaced by Rainbow Poppy, and Rainbow Poppy was Periwinkle's friend from the city, instead of Plum, Plum kind of got, uh, just, he, he, I guess he's just not a thing in Blue's Clues on you, I don't, I don't think he's ever shown up in that, uh, but Rainbow Poppy is this very colorful puppy who is a great singer, uh, yes, unlike Blue and Magenta, she is able to talk at all times, and she can act more like a human, and s seems to actually be older, even though she looks like she could be the same age as Blue and Magenta, from how grown up she technically is, and how all she's able to do that Blue and Magenta can't do, and that she, I don't think she, her guardian's ever been shown as far as I know. It seems like Rainbow Puppy's all grown up. And she's able to do a lot, and she's a very good singer, and she kind of led some new types of stories in Blue's Clues and You. Uh, in season four, there were quite a few episodes with Rainbow Puppy and, and Josh and Blue having to go on different kinds of ventures, having to uh, go to ventures outside of the house with so some new opportunities, and I kind of enjoyed that. It was kind of something different. Uh, the Blue's Clues formula was still there, but there there were some new changes, and Rainbow Puppy was a good new character to have around, and even though she hasn't been in that many episodes so far, she has had a big role in a majority of the episodes that she's been in, and I enjoy that. I think she's a good new addition to the franchise, and she had a really big role in Blue's Big State Adventure. A lot of the plot revolves around getting to Rainbow Puppy, and so I enjoy her character, and I think she's just kind of a nice character to have around, and I am surprised that I have been struggling to find Rainbow Puppy merchandise. I figured that she would be created so they could sell a lot more plushies and, and stuff of Rainbow Puppy, but I haven't really seen that much. Uh, it would be cool if they made more Rainbow Puppy, and I actually think she's a good addition to the show. And uh, I guess if you really liked uh, Plum from the original series, I guess him not being there in favor of Rainbow Puppy, I, I could understand a bit of disappointment there. Not that Plum had a huge role, but I can understand that. And the kind of continuity being changed in the whole thing, where did, did Periwinkle move twice? Is it, it, is, is it a different continuity? It's it, it's confusing to me, but I really enjoy Rainbow Puppy's character, and I think she's a strong addition to Blue's Clues that I really enjoy. So feel free to let me know in the comments if you think uh, Rainbow Puppy was a good addition. Do you enjoy her appearances, and do, do you enjoy the kind of episodes that she's in? Feel free to share all your thoughts about Rainbow Puppy in the comments.